Hi, this is Brad Buckner with SharpensBest.com. Out here in the boonies, west of uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, about 25 miles. A place called Vitavu, up in the mountains. Uh, somewhere around 8,000 foot level. Beautiful fall day, October. Sunshine, actually pretty warm today. A lot of people say... Why don't you ever cut something besides paper with your buck knife? All right, this is the buck knife that's also on uh, the videos on YouTube called Sharpest Knife on Earth. I cut paper with it. The guy that filmed that, Chance Buell, put that on YouTube. Wasn't any of it planned or anything. He just stopped by one day and took a look at it and said, I'd like to film it. Gets lots of comments, compliments. I get a lot of ridicule, a lot of people that evidently left their brain in the bathroom, <laughs> probably flushed it down by the comments they leave. So anyway, that's all right. So today, I'm going to take my old buck knife, it's a 119 that I've been sharpening and cutting paper, taking to the gun shows and different venues. Last week, it was over in Hawaii for the gun show. That was a lot of fun. So anyway, today I'm going to carve on some trees, I'm going to cut something besides paper, then I'm going to slice paper with it, and I'm going to show you. That old buck knife, actually it's only about five years old, will hold an edge. So let's uh, carve on, we got a tree that's down, looks like it's, that's yeah, still pretty solid. The bark on these trees are pretty solid. So let's do some carving on the tree, then slice some paper, then we'll cut some really dead wood. I'll hack off some limbs. Maybe if I can find another limb, I'll pound on the back of it, chop off some limbs, and do what I call abuse the knife a little bit. And then we'll slice some paper. We'll see how it all works out. And yeah, you can see I'm alone. Got to be just a little bit careful. This thing will cut you if you slip. It's sharp. I'm taking about a quarter of an inch of the bark off per pass. Paper's made out of trees. We cut the paper, now we cut the trees before we make the paper. And the tip of that knife is pretty damn sharp. You gotta be careful with it, or I'll be bleeding.
Well, that's probably enough just to see if it'll still cut paper. That's a little bit of abuse. That's probably harder than skinning an animal. Skinning an elk or moose, deer, antelope, things like that. Let's see how it cuts paper. I don't think it did much to it. That's pretty sharp. Buck 119, about five years old. This is the one that I use. Every weekend, 50 weekends out of the year, I'm at another show. Besides that, you know, something else. That wasn't a single piece of paper. It was actually two. Two layers. Not that that makes a huge difference. But people say, why don't you cut something tougher, you know, than just paper. Well, I just did. Then I cut the paper, two layers of paper. One layer of paper would look more like this. This is Brad, SharpensBest.com. Take care, have a good day. Just out having fun today. Off on another adventure, sharpensbest.com. Come to YouTube, sharpensbest. Take a look. You'll enjoy the videos.